All right, so all we want to do here is complete this ANOVA table. That's pretty easy, actually, once you have all these values that they've given us. In order to figure out the degrees of freedom for error, that first missing box, we just have to subtract the treatment degrees of freedom from the total degrees of freedom. When you do 3 from 23, of course, you get 20. All right, from there, we want to get the sum of square for error. And we have this relationship. We have that the sum of square total is equal to the sum of square for treatment plus the sum of square for error. So if we want to solve for the sum of square for error, we can just subtract from both sides SST. And if we do that, we'll be left with the sum of square for error. So what we have to do that is subtract from the total the sum of square for treatment. We have the total, we have the treatment, so let's subtract them to get the answer for SSE. So I have 1947.34 minus 1843.67. And when we do that, we get the answer 103.67. So 103.67. You should be able to check that these add up to 1947 when you're done. All right, now to get the MS values, what we want to do is get the MST and the MSE values. Remember, we do not need to fill in these three boxes here. We just need to fill in the remaining three that we see left after that. So let's do MST. That means we have to divide 1843.67 by 3. So we're going to do 1843.67 divided by 3. And we get 614.56, right? 614.56. So I'm going to do 614.6 just for space because we don't have that much room here in the table. All right, but it's 614.556 repeating. Okay, now after that, we're going to take our 103, 103.67. This is our SSE, and we're going to divide it by its degrees of freedom, which is 20. So divide by 20, and we end up with the answer 5.1835. So we'll do 5.18, 5.1835. 5 just because we don't have room to go further to the extra decimal place. All right, and from there, we have to calculate the F value. So let's remember that F is basically the ratio between MST and MSE. And so that ratio will turn out to be for us the ratio between this number and this number. So we need to take the 614.556 repeating and divide it by the 5.1835 value that we had for MSE. And when we do that, we get 118.56. 118.56. And that, of course, would be our test statistic F for this ANOVA table.